Hello. Today I'm going to discuss how modern media culture demonstrates the concepts described by Terry Flew's participatory media cultures. In particular, I'm going to focus on how average consumer level graphics processing from the graphics processing unit has reached a point that has made it central to universalized participatory media culture. Reference in Terry's work is Lead Beater and Miller's 2004 Pro Am Revolution, which is a theory I will apply to show relevant examples in the modern media scape. But quickly, here's an explanation of participatory media culture. Participatory media culture means each person can have active involvement and impact, that the share of power is equal, and that deinstitutionalization usually occurs as government and large corporations have less impact on subjective content of media. About the GPU, the technology, in case you didn't know, is available to the consumers in the late 1990s. It is responsible for, for turning the computer from a productivity tool to an extremely powerful creative and visual aid. It is in almost every computer built today. It is responsible for rendering and decoding videos, solving heavy computational problems, and gaming. Okay. In the last <coughs> hundred years, humanity has been consumed by consumer culture, empowered by mass communication technology and media. Corporations and government have been able to bully modern media audiences and condition people to their advantage. At last, however, a new culture is emerging, participatory culture. The miniaturization of graphics processing units to the point where it is a viable option for the average consumer can be described as a breakthrough that has led to Liebig and Miller's Pro-Am revolution. Essentially, this technology has enabled the home user to develop and produce media from their home at far greater speeds than ever before, allowing them to have an active and competitive role in the industry or community of their choice. Particularly revolutionized media forms include open source software development, such as Android ROMs, which are created and distributed on the mobile software development community XDA with over 5 million members, and user game mods, such as Minecraft, which notably has over 65,000 unadulted user-made modifications available. These pro-amateur communities exemplify how the prosumer here has had a significant political, economic, social, and cultural impact on the development process of modern media forms. To finish, Terry Flew's participatory media culture expansion can be demonstrated by the media form of this video. All the CG in this video was created by me from my home desktop, running on an ATI GPU. Even five years ago, such calculations would not have been possible on the average home computer, and 20 years ago, virtually unheard of. This video, therefore, is the perfect example of the program revolution. An average internet user such as myself has also become a powerful member of a connected community he or she can actively manipulate and shape. Thank you.